Hello, welcome to this video on Solution Lab from Hobby Kitchen's project. I'm Professor Konduk Pham from University of Po and Scientific Manager in Wazirp Foundation. We have been working in boosting innovation in Africa countries for many years in several European projects. When talking to African entrepreneurs, one of the main difficulties they have to face is to get access to the latest technologies. So in the domain of Internet of Things, for instance, getting access to state-of-the-art hardware can dramatically impact on their ability to produce prototyping and proof-of-concept applications. So this is the whole idea behind the Solution Lab Innovation Enabler proposed by Habikitas Project. But beyond that, the Solution Lab will also be packaged with documentation, examples and training materials so that the young entrepreneurs can start their journey into innovation in the best possible conditions. So, let's take a tour and discover the Solution Lab as proposed by Habikitus project. The main objective of Solution Lab is to provide hardware. So, we do have enclosures, various sensors that can be deployed outdoors. And regarding microcontrollers, of course, we have the classic one, such as the Arduino Pro Mini, but we also want to package uh, the Solution Lab with more advanced microcontroller boards. So, for instance, the TNC boards that do have lots of nice features. We also want to package the latest technologies. So, the Arduino Nikla Sense board, for instance, the Arduino Nano 33 IoT, and the Nano 33 BLE. So, this last board can, for instance, host embedded AI applications. Of course, we have the Wasiop IoT ecosystem, so WasiDev, WasiSense with supercapacitors, and then the WasiAct with a relay. We also package state-of-the-art long-range LoRa radio modules, but most importantly, we also provide the PCP breakout board so that you can easily integrate these radio modules into your project. And of course, we also want to make LoRaWAN connectivity much simpler for you. So we selected a number of state-of-the-art LoRaWAN modules that can be easily be integrated into your IoT project as well. We also package single computer boards such as the well-known Raspberry Pi. But most importantly, we want to have accessories such as cameras in order to build computer vision applications. So when talking about computer vision, then embedded AI is very important. So we also provide AI hardware accelerators. Last but not least, we provide various PCBs that allows you to reach a high level of integration for your prototyping project. So the device we're showing here is a soil moisture device developed for the Prima Intelleris project. The list of hardware package in the solution lab is not fixed. It can be updated during the project to incorporate new products from the market. So the idea is to keep the Solution Lab infrastructures up to date to host your innovative project. Lab. Let me take some few more minutes to show you some use case integration for a selected number of hardware. So we start with the classic Arduino Pro Mini. And this board is so versatile that actually we use it a lot in many integration projects. So you can build very integrated IoT devices with this kind of borders, and it is very low power. Devices can run for more than two years on two AA batteries. We really like TNC boards, and here is the TNC 3.2. It's very powerful with a lot of memory, and you can build very innovative image device sensors, for instance. So in this example here, the core of these image sensors is TNC. It can run quite complex image processing tests. So here we implemented an intrusion detection system, for instance. Efficient image compression supporting long-range transmission with high error rate is also implemented. There's also an interesting TNC board with an embedded SD card slot, so you can build a powerful data logger. We also package one of the latest Arduino boards, the Arduino Nano 33 BLE or BLE Sense. And this board have embedded AI capability as demonstrated in the following videos from Arduino. With the state-of-the-art Arduino Nikla Sense ME, 
ME for motion environment, you probably have one of the smallest sensing board on the market. So this board is packed with a number of sensors, making it a suitable platform for advanced sensing system. There's so many interesting projects with this board, we show one of them here. Wasi boards provide interesting features. For instance, the Wasi Sense for battery-less deployment and Wasi Act for generic LoRa One actuation. The Wasi App ecosystem is actually quite rich, from hardware to cloud servers and edge framework. Check out the webpage for more information. Regarding single board computers, Solution Lab package the well-known Raspberry Pi. And this platform can be used to build versatile and open IoT gateways. The WasiGate framework, for instance, is a powerful framework to build edge-enabled IoT gateways. It has responsive web interface and customized application can be deployed on the gateway itself. The Raspberry Pi can also be used to build more robust outdoor gateways. Here it is an example of an outdoor gateway with power over Ethernet features and various connectors for high-gain antennas. Such gateways has been deployed in many African countries and they have been tested under various conditions. With a camera attached to the Raspberry, you can step in the very exciting computer vision world. The following video already shows a very impressive object detection application using embedded AI with a TensorFlow framework. With AI hardware accelerator attached to your Raspberry, you can build challenging object recognition applications on fast-rate video streams, as demonstrated by the following videos. LoRa modules that can be easily integrated into IoT projects are of course packaged in Solution Lab. As fully LoRa 1 compliant networks are gaining more and more interest, Solution Lab also packaged one of the latest LoRa 1 modules from Rack Wireless. The Rack 3172 is a very small form factor LoRa 1 module, providing high level of integration for your LoRa 1 IoT project. In this example with a PCB from the Prolong project, the Rack modules provide out-of-the-box LoRa 1 connectivity with AT command, in addition to the already existing LoRa in 2.4 GHz band. Breakout version is also provided so that you can connect the Rack modules to any Arduino boards for instance. The evaluation board also allows you to test the module before integration. To provide a complete LoRa 1 development framework, Solution Lab also packages 8-channel LoRa radio concentrators to build fully compliant LoRa 1 IoT gateways. Last but not least, Solution Lab also provides a number of dedicated PCBs to ease integration process. These PCBs allow for connecting the radio modules to the microcontroller in a much easier way. There are also PCB to host the radio module alone so that you can build LoRa shield to be plugged on a Raspberry for very low cost gateways. PCBs for LoRa radio modules in 2.4 GHz band allows for worldwide deployment. As stated in the introduction, Solution Lab is not only about hardware. As one of the innovation enabler of Hobbykitus projects, Solution Lab also offers a web portal describing all the resources package in the Solution Lab. Here you can see in the Arduino board pages all the listed board package in the Solution Lab. How to program them and their usage. So if we look at the Arduino Nikla Sense ME, we can get access to its specifications and the various features it offers from the Arduino pages. 
If we take the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense, we can get access to all essentials and tutorials provided by the manufacturer. If we look at TNC boards, then we have the same structures, the listed board, how to use them, and most importantly, link to existing resources. Moving to communication network sections, we have the LoRa and LoRa 1 chapters, for instance, where introductory informations are provided on the technology. The various pages provide access to information in a consistent manner. The objective here is not to reinvent the wheel, so whenever existing resources are available, then we are going to link to these resources. Regarding deployment of Solution Lab, Habicators will rely on local digital innovation hub to provide the necessary physical infrastructures for local entrepreneurs to get access to these hardware resources. This is the end of this introductory video to Solution Lab. I hope that the content was clear and that you found it interesting. So I invite you to follow the latest development of Habicators project. Bye bye!